It's a simple act, making a cup of tea. But for Corporal Andrew Garthwaite, it's a feat of remarkable bionic engineering. The soldier from South Tyneside has one of the most advanced bionic arms in the world, and he's controlling it with his mind. Because obviously I haven't had a thumb or a finger for the last three years, and then all of a sudden to start feeling stuff is just a total weird feeling. So you've got to train your brain to actually realise to move this hand. And with the long sleeve, it doesn't look as if you've got a prosthetic arm until it starts making the motor noises itself. Three years ago, Corporal Garthwaite was struck by a rocket-propelled grenade while fighting the Taliban in Afghanistan. On the right-hand side, I heard a bang, but then within a split second, it was I was on the floor, my arm was on fire, and I stood up and I was totally like, oh, God, and my arms fell off. It was a big shock, so I actually fell back to the ground again, and I was lifted up and after about 10 minutes that was from getting hit to a helicopter coming in and getting tucked to Camp Bastion so I, I made it back and I'm alive so I owe my life to these guys. The blast killed his friend and that saw Corporal Garthwaite determined to make the most of being alive. Losing a lot of friends throughout my army career with Iraq and Afghanistan going on I'm very lucky to be here so I'm going to make the best of being here because it makes you actually realise that that could have been you. His life saved, Corporal Garthwaite would go on to make medical history in becoming the first person from the UK to have this...